Hello everyone, welcome back to Grimm's Garage, and today we're doing a new recent pickups. A little bit of an odd assortment. We've got a 9-pack of Hot Wheels, a 5-pack of Matchbox, which, although I did just pick this up, it is a 2020 date on the back. That being, it was at a Rite Aid, way overpriced. It was like $10.50, $10.50. I know it was there for months. I eventually bit the bullet because I really wanted that Beetle. And I thought I could use that. But unfortunately, about a month ago, I, I got that single carded. So I bought this just for that. We got a Welly from my local Rite Aid. I think it's my second version. A couple Hot Wheels, the new Coop Clip. And we got a uh, Treasure Hunt and a new M2. Which, um, unfortunately, has got some damage I've got to talk about. But let's start off with this treasure hunt. Unfortunately, because um, I'm not interested in it. And unfortunately, sorry, not sorry. I grabbed it just to put it on the trade table. Uh, I was surprised to find this on a two-day dry spell. Still didn't find anything for me. And that's why I pick up things for the, like this. I'm not asking any more for anything. I'm not asking anything ridiculous. I put it on the trade table. Hoping to trade it for something I was hoping to find. I don't sell on eBay. I just put them on my table at my local trade show. So if you're local, just let me know if you want to claim it. Otherwise... New coupe clip. I, I believe this is just the third one. I've got the, uh, well, I had the first original silver one, which I thought was disappointing at first. I thought, well, well, that looks plain. And then instantly thought, well, it's practical. It's a keychain. It's going to get banged around a lot. It's going to look like crap. And then they introduced the red and black one. Got that one. And here is the black and gold. Now, I do not collect these. I'm just a Hot Wheels fan and I want to represent. I utilize these. Now, I initially used the silver one myself. And then I had given that one to my wife for her car keys since the black and red one came out. And that is on my house keys. And is expected. This one wear and tear, but that's character. Well, here we have the black and gold. Now, I don't usually like gold, but I have to admit that looks really sharp and kind of early 80s retro. Very cool. Not sure where this one will be used yet. In fact, uh... Our eldest daughter will be moving out of state soon with her fiancé. They'll be leaving a vehicle behind. So, I believe this will go on that vehicle's keychain. Let's take a look at this guy. Got this at a Rite Aid. Not the same Rite Aid I got that at. Got the nice opening rear door. Um, I did have, I did purchase another one. That is the, yeah, Welly, Welly. Um, from the same store. It's almost the same casting, but it was solid red with a little red emergency light on top. But it did not have this plastic piece. It was just metal. It had the same rear door. But it did not have the swinging door. It had uh, kind of like a minivan slide door. So it'll be nice to put this one right next to the other one. Pretty nice. Let's do some multi pack. Let's get the matchbox here. So, as stated before, I'm really just opening up 
for this. I wish it was for both. But I messed up and opened a single card version of this a month or two ago. And it's zero interest in the other ones. But we're opening them all, so let's take a look. Straight black and chrome. I mean, I'm not a Hummer fan for the most part. I do keep some military ones if they look cool enough, but otherwise, no thank you. But black and chrome is pretty, pretty sharp. Next. Okay, Ridge Raider. Now this one and the next model are very similar, just slightly different. The angling of the window and the spoiler. It's not too bad, but not really my thing. Here's the other said model. As you can see, it's kind of similar. Lower spoiler and more of an angle on the window, but otherwise, similar theme. This being the Quicksander 2008 date. This unfortunate fellow I thought I was going to keep, but I guess I got a spare. Jeep Hurricane 2004. And the uh, reason for this pack's existence. Four by four. Copper. Some nice seventies retro straps. I had to have this for my beetle collection. Very awesome. Alright. We'll do the hot wheel set. Save the M2 for last. I have one or two models to compare that to. And unfortunately, I've seen people post online finding this 9-pack with the Golf, which is what I mainly wanted it for. But of course, you want to try to find some enough other models. For me, unfortunately, that's the only one I want here. But at least my wife will want this Mustang. So let's get this open. A moment. Oh, sorry about that jiggle. Alright, what do we got in here? We got a 40 Ford pickup. Cup cams. Too old for my liking, but uh, this is of your era. That's that's pretty nice knockout. Something a little like that on the trade table. Next. Dodge Challenger Drift Car. 426 Mopar. Is that an elephant on there? Mixed red and white rims. Pretty nice. Alfa Romeo 8C. We 
weird color. Was it indigo? Almost an ultraviolet purple. Nice tempo work. Alright, fancy model. I've seen this one a few times. The Growler. Reminds me of my daughter's dog. Runty little thing. What is this? Bedlam. Fought with this one. You know I love my Camaros. Or not Camaros, El Caminos. Rancheros and anything like that. Of course this is a fantasy vehicle. In that styling. But um, I'm just not liking it. I don't keep them. Okay, see the coloring on this one's not that bad. What is this? I don't know, I'm not seeing a name on this one. Well, either way, here it is. Really unusual color scheme. Track Hammer. This does seem like a nice little speeder. Though I've been tricked before. I've tried quite a few cars like this on the, uh, the big eight-way tracks. and You'd think they'd win, but... Sometimes a lot of other cars beat them. Try to pick a lot of metal, low down. You'd be fooled many times. Almost seems like these. Oh no, yeah, those wheels glow in the dark. Look at that. Okay. Cool. Still not for me though. Someone else will enjoy that. I need to get the Mustang for my wife. I'm liking the retro colors though. 84. You know, I think uh, I did have one. I had an 86. As much as I really don't like Mustangs, I just needed a car. I got it for 150 bucks. In the mid nineties, or I uh, know, um, was it? Um, yeah, it was about mid nineties, mid to late nineties. Hundred fifty dollars for a Mustang. Only reason why I was driving it. People ask me, "You bought that?" Yeah, hundred fifty bucks. Oh yeah, you go with that. And the only reason why I wanted this whole nine pack was for this golf. Tyrone would love this episode if he happens to catch it. He just did an episode about opening five packs for just that one. Well, here's a nine pack for just that one and a five pack. Let's wake and golf. Nice, beautiful color. All right. Last but not least, an M2, which has been damaged. All right there, you see? There's a chip right next to the quarter window, which I believe was not there when I purchased it, but by the time it got home, it was because in my bag, this was upside down and I was walking with it doing this. But am I right? It happens in the gloss black area. I believe I can patch that up pretty convincingly. 
Get this open. I didn't even introduce what it was. It's the 76 GMC Sierra Grande 15 4x4. Oh, printing's not very good on that anyway. But, so, I don't like gold, but again, gotta admit that looks sharp. And yeah, unfortunately, we get that chip there. So I know I could bash that up too, but not too bad. Hey, <laughs> Okay, I almost thought that was painted. I was like, wow, that's crazy. There's a out in the die cast for a plastic piece in the corner. Nice tires. And as stated, I do have two others that I previously got to compare. Here's a really cool tan and brown one. This one is exactly the same other than the added front grille. And I also have an orange one. It's the same year and model, but it has a different bed and rear fenders. And with that, thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll join me again soon. Please like and subscribe. It'll help me out tremendously to bring you better content and more frequent content. And improve it. Please leave some comments down below as to how I can improve this experience for us both. And with that, thank you and good night.